What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. So if you guys saw my last video, I reacted to Daniel and kind of made the statement that he, in my opinion, is the most mechanical Rocket League player in the world, in my opinion. You can tell me if you think I'm wrong. But now we are going to compare him to someone that a lot of you guys argue is the most mechanical player in the world. You guys probably know who I'm talking about. Of course, Dark. We are going to watch his newest montage posted by RLF. X, the future of Rocket League, best of dark. Now, I'm also going to be using this video to kind of compare him to Daniel because I'm live on Twitch right now and we just watched Daniel's recent highlight reel posted by them and we're going to kind of compare them. So, like I said in the previous video, though, one thing that Daniel will always have a little bit of an edge over in comparison to dark and players like that is that a lot of his clips were in like RLCS games. Hey, let's go ahead, get right into the video. All right, so like I already said uh, with that last video, uh, this is Rocket League FX. They are a fantastic YouTube channel. If you like watching Rocket League highlights, definitely go check them out and maybe drop them a sub. But this is the best of dark. Gonna break down some of these plays and see who is a little more mechanical, Daniel or uh, Daniel or dark. All right, so starting us off hot. Nice little double reset scoop. One thing uh, I'll say immediately. Whoa, that was a weird scoop. Well, okay. It, into the wall dashes? All right. All right. You, you got my attention here. One thing I will say, he, he looks so controlled. He looks so controlled with, like, his mechanics here. And like I said, a lot of these clips are going to be in 1v1. Which, you know, still impressive, but, it, you know, that's why I would say a player like Dan's a little more mechanical. In my opinion, he would take the edge because... It's a lot harder to hit insane shots when you got more defenders around you. Now, that looks like a 3v3 game. Okay. All right, Dark. What you got, bro? First reset. Ooh, I like that, bro. Gets the first reset, and then he air dribbles it, and then gets another reset. Not the plan B, brother. Not the plan B. Got that Zen shot off the ceiling. I love it. Chat, is it me, bro? Or just can you kind of honestly tell a difference between EU and NA players? I don't know if it's the usage of that Fennec that it seems like every like super mechanical EU player uses. But man, I swear I can kind of tell a difference between watching an NA and EU guy. I, I, every single time, it, you can just kind of tell. Yeah, it seems like the EU guys just have a little bit of cleaner movement or something. I don't know, but it is kind of wild that just the difference in region, you can actually like, you can literally see the difference. All right, this is another, it's a 2v2 game. So a little bit more defensive. You got, well, that, that's Durku on the other team. We know Durku. He's another big content creator. All right, yep. You see, now that Daniel was doing that that uh, that same type of reset as well. Look, you where you get the flip reset, and then what I would have done here, and maybe I should take a note from here. What I would have done is like as soon as my wheels touch the ball, I'm instantly dodging like forward and trying to flip cancel it. What he does is he waits like a split second, so he gets the reset, and then he waits like a split second to where his car is no longer directly making contact with the ball. And what I think that does is it it helps him to get a more precise touch and stay closer to the ball. Because he gets that reset, and then, dude, he's, he's still really close to the ball. And so I think that's actually a better way to go for that type of shot, where you go for the reset and then instantly flip. Because he stayed a lot closer to it. Now, now that... I would say, like, that's almost his signature shot. If you haven't seen Dark hit, hit a shot like this, you probably haven't watched very much of Dark. He jumps to the ceiling and then instantly jumps down. And he actually jumps to the ceiling so fast that the ball bounces off the ceiling and bounces down. But he's just really quick. So he jumps to the ceiling, goes down underneath it, and then gets this exact flip cancel reset and then just goes for the double. Like, as a defender, what are you going to do there, bro? See, he does it again. I think that's kind of like Dark's signature shot, bro throws in a little pogo doing it there there it is again man and then he has the reset so he can just like use the dodge in the pogo surely i get the save wait wait is fear 1v1ing dark bro that's ridiculous that is nuts yep there's another one see ah okay so that was an example of what i was talking about where you get that reset immediately 
the right. He gets the reset, and he's as soon as his uh, wheels touch the ball, he's dodging forward. He's just... And what that does is if you get the reset at the perfect spot on the ball, and it's about that spot where, like, if this is the ball, you want to get that reset about, like, right there. You want to be on, like, the bottom corner of the ball. That way, when you use the dodge, it pops the ball up. But he still has 50 boost, and so... It just, the ball stays so close to his car. And he's just able to continue on with the air dribble. He loves the, the plan B. He's doing it, doing it again. <laughs> I mean, it is like impossible to save if you're on defense. Because he's doing the same thing that Daniel was doing. Where like, you get the reset and you're not really watching the ball. You're watching the defender. If the defender jumps in the air, you go underneath him. You just don't use the reset. Or you be like dark and you're like a, a pogo or whatever. Uh, but then if the defender stays on the ground, that's when you use the reset. Oh, man. Dude, if I... Oh, no. Not the triple reset, dude. Come on. A shot like this is somewhere. It's like, if you were trying to make an argument that this dude is one of the more mechanical players in the world, I can see it. Because, like, he goes off the ceiling. And this is basically a ceiling shot. It starts off as a ceiling shot. Gets that first flip cancel reset. Gets the second one. And once again, as soon as his wheels touch the ball, he dodges into it. But the ball stays right up on it. And then... With that last little bit of boost, he gets that third reset to pop it over and 50 the final defender. I mean, like, that's, that's fucking nuts. I'm not going to lie to you. That's crazy. Then goes for the bump. Oh, my God. I mean, I feel like flip cancel resets are just the wave. You got the most mechanical players ever going for him. There's a little arsenal. Oh, bro. Arsenal resets. An arsenal reset is when you're boosting towards the ball and you pull backwards at the last moment and get that reset. And usually, it, it is the most effective way to stop pre-jumpers. A pre-jumper is a defender that as soon as they see you leave the ground and go into the air, they're jumping there with you. Like, they're jumping in the air with you to challenge you quickly. Because as you can see, pro players and very, very good, you know, SSL players, if they go into the air, they're probably going to find a way to score. Like, these guys, every time they go into the air, it's like 100%. They're they're putting a shot on net that's going to be difficult so to combat that you either jump quickly or you just go off the ceiling and try to challenge them in the air but that's what the arsenal reset is so good for because it it looks like you're going to hit the ball up into the air but at the last moment you pull back and you get that reset and the ball just kind of stays flat and then what he does is he uses a flip cancel reset underneath it like i wouldn't have thought to do that he's so good at that there's another one. Oh, then he gets... Oh, no! All right, that was nuts, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Yo, all right. I love that they included the, the opponent's POV because what do you do there? Look at him. He's like, all right, he's going to hit it. He's going to hit it straight. And then he just go goes nowhere. And then he's like, all right, I'll still make contact with it. And then he just fucking like pops it around. And Ah, oh, dude. That's a nightmare to defend. I don't want to break down every single play, but I mean, I, it's hard not to. Did you see what he did here? He gets the boost. He pinches it. And then he instantly wall dashes. He's spamming X. That way he, he gets to the ball as fast as possible with, without using too much boost. Stays up in the air and just gets a beautiful shot. I mean, that's... That's where the speed of Dark comes into play. You know, we, we've talked about the mechanics. Everyone knows the mechanics are there. But if you, like, just go watch a replay of him playing 2v2, this man is fast. He's just a very quick player. Like, he's just constantly supersonic, constantly moving around the field. I mean, the dude, is, he's like a gnat, I bet. He's just, he's just bugging you. He's just always around your, your head, you know? To what he normally did gonna be a sidewall redirect that's actually the first sidewall redirect we've seen in this one i feel like if he's not the most mechanical player in the world i would say he's probably the most consistent with flip resets i mean jesus dude i mean the versatility like like just right there getting up underneath the ball i would i would make that argument I, he's probably the best player i've ever seen with flip resets in general like every play he's using them too. Play dark so many times you will say there's not a player like him in terms of flashy comp. All right, hold on. 
So Durku is in chat, and we actually, Durku, we saw you earlier in this montage. In terms of flashy comp me uh, mechanics, he's the best in the world. Well, so Durku, I was kind of making the argument that I think that if, if we're just talking about mechanics, right, I, I was saying that I think Daniel might be the best, and I was going to say that I would give Daniel the edge just because he's hitting a lot of those mechanics in RLCS, you know? Because I know, I know Dark hits those same mechanics on pro players, but not really in those, like, high-stress situations in a 3v3 game, because he's, I know he plays in like the big 1v1 tournament so he's played in live events that where it's high stress but it's only like one defender it's a 1v1 match usually he's probably played in some twos as well but with 3v3 it's like you got three defenders you probably got one guy pre-jumping you one guy in the net one guy behind you trying to demo you and then daniel's able to still pull off those same mechanics now i'm sitting here watching dark and i will say i think dark is probably the best player in the world when it comes to flip resets because like dude i mean i don't think i've heard any news about dark wanting to go pro or having any interest in it um I, that all right i saw that in the last montage that's one of my favorite shots by him so he flip cancels instant reset but then i mean this is probably just like a little bit of luck you know he, he didn't intend to do this exactly but he just kind of ended up in the right spot but look how smooth he goes into that second reset it's just so clean but yeah, I, I feel like if Dark did want to go pro and he put in the time, I mean, again, I, I haven't heard any news or anything about him wanting to actually do it. But if he did go pro and he, you know, ended up being able to pull off a lot of these mechanics at the pro level in RLCS, then I would say there's no contest that he's the best player, like, mechanically. But until he was able to pull off the same stuff in, like, a really high-stress 3v3 situation. Because it just adds a whole new layer of, like, complexity and impressiveness. I don't know if he streams on Twitch chat, but he should. I think he totally should, man. Oh, he does? I didn't know he streamed. Okay, what, what's his Twitch? So it's RLDark1. Dude, he's got 34,000 followers. Honestly, guys, we got we got to pump them numbers up, bro. We got to get those numbers up. So he does stream on Twitch. Uh, if you guys are watching right now, uh, either on Twitch or on YouTube or whatever, let's go. Y'all should drop him some follows, man. Because what I was going to say is like, you know, even if he didn't want to go pro, he should definitely like really get into live streaming because I'm sure lots of people would love to watch him in action, like in, in playing ranked or something because that's entertaining right there. Another flip cancel. Oh, dude. See, I love that because I actually thought like he convinced me. I thought he was going to go to the ground with that. But so did the so did the defender. But then he uses his uh, flip reset to go over him. Just stays in the air. Wait, what? 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 You read that, bro? And the bro's just hitting clips. Nah. Nah. I love that they keep including the opponent v POV because it's just like, it's, you know, it's one thing to watch the mechanic. It's another thing to watch it from the opponent's POV because, you know, then you're thinking about what's it like to defend? Like, if you were trying to defend it, what, how, what would you do? How would you try and stop this shot? And it's like, nothing. You could do nothing. You could do absolutely nothing to defend that. Yeah, man. Dark, still incredibly impressive. And I like that we got a little bit of perspective there from our man, Durku. Uh, and again, if you guys didn't know who Durku is, he's another content creator. You guys should check him out. He said he played against Dark a lot and, you know, it is insane and he's definitely one of the more if not the most mechanical player in like a ranked scenario um because again you know we all we all know that he's hitting these clips against pro players in ranked games so he is at the level where he's hitting these incredibly mechanical shots against some of the best players in the game but i think the one thing that like knocks him down a peg is that he just uh is not getting any clips in like an rlcs scenario you know and uh yeah guys let me know what you think about dark's new montage uh, let me know what you think about possibly the future of dark because they did title this video the future of rocket league so uh i guess we'll see what happens i guess we'll see where he goes from here but thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one